And now, America's favorite hunting couple, Ralph and Vicki Cianciarulo. Hi, welcome to the Archer's Choice. This week we are back home bucks once again. Yeah, back in Illinois, and we had a rough season. You know what's funny is this year was like, well, there's been seasons like that. We get a lot of email where everyone said, well, boy, we hunted Illinois, we were in Kansas, we were in Iowa, and it, it just wasn't happening. Either people were into them, or they weren't. It was, there was you, no happy you, you were into them and I wasn't. Well, can you say that again? Because everybody you wants to understand. You were into them and I wasn't. So what does I'm that tell you? Maybe you should just stick to turkeys and bears. How about if I just stick to moose and bears and caribou? Oh, yeah. And turkeys. Okay, so you know what? You, you, you beat me up. Actually, you beat me up really good last fall. I admit it. But are you yep, done with it was, that? It was easy to do. It really was. You know, and well, this first encounter, we were back home, and Travis and I were hunting and filming, and we did everything we possibly could. We had our scent locked on. We had our scent away sprays. And, we and did what everything. happened? They, he, this little guy busted us. Uh-huh. See? See? See not, what? Not, not everything is always just perfect, is it? Well, at least we got some deer on film. Oh, say nothing about it. We're still down here in Illinois. We've got a little bit of a front, a warm front. Uh, it's, we've got south. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Now, you saw how Travis and, and Ralph both got kind of snorted up there in the tree stand and everything else like that. Well, now you gotta see what else happens. Uh, I have to admit it, they did good.
Travis and I got in here fairly early. We wanted everything to calm down. Did a little rattle and sequence. <laughs> Nothing. Tickle the tines again about it. 40 minutes later. We're overlooking a cornfield here. We've got a very good bedding area over here. We brought that buck in. I believe from our CRP. He's got a nice deer. Wish that was taller. I'm going to, well, we'll probably go home because we're really not that far. Let's see if RJ wants to track a buck with Danny. Welcome back. Well, what can I tell you? You know, we've always pr talked about it, and now we're proving it. And that is, take your children hunting with you. RJ maybe wasn't in a stand with us, because he's still only about four years old. Even though he's half my height, that's pretty scary. But to share that recovery, the excitement, and everything else, that's probably one of the best deer I'll ever shoot. Let's go see, probably RJ sleep. We'll see who's up. Buckets. Hey. Did you get something? Did you? All right. What'd you get? Yeah, we got a nice little buck in the back. Good yeah. deal. Great day. Way to go, bud. Is RJ up? No, we can go wait until Daddy. I, I want to see. Okay, go on. Congrats. Come on, I want to see. He probably won't because now if I got to wake him. Hey, buddy. RJ. Hey. It's Daddy. And Buckus. No, nope, Buckus. <laughs> Buckus, give me. Hey, guess what? Daddy shot a buck. <laughs> oh, buddy. Oh. You want to go help Daddy get it? Mm-hmm. You do? I'm sorry to wake you, but I wanted you to come with me. Do you want to come with Daddy? Mm -hmm. 
Cool. My future hunter right there. Did you sleep good? Yeah? Look at this. Oh. Come on, bud, let's get you dressed. Come on. That's what it's all about. Is he in rut? You smell that? <laughs> you, don't, you don't like that smell. <laughs> Let's check out this next encounter is Jeff McNeil from Beeman. Has an encounter, probably one of the weirdest looking deer we've ever seen out here. Don't touch that remote. Archer's Choice will be back in a minute. Vic, you see what it looking here? Yeah. This is a deer track. A no. deer track. A deer track. Oh, thank you. for. I thought maybe I was supposed to look for those big yellow signs that had a big deer jumping on it. No, that's where Travis and Freddie, they look for those and put their stand on oh, those posts. Yeah. But I mean, this, when you're looking to go to an area that you want to see deer, you look for a sign like that. Oh. And maybe, just maybe, you just might, you know, see a deer. Yeah, okay, well how about if we get into Jeff McNeil's hunt? Yeah, Jeff, you know what, the guys are just about to really call it quits. He is actually lowering his bow. He's boat. lowering his bow and Chad and him, dear, you know what I mean? And yeah. Jeff well. gets all pumped up and well, you gotta see this. red blood. Made a good shot on it. You shouldn't be too far up here. Came in, bow is down on the ground. Was able to 
bring it, bring it all the way back up. Bo hit the stand a little bit. He ignored it. He's on had other things on his mind. Got the bow all the way up. Got an arrow on it. And was able to pull back. Gave him a little bat. Stopped. Got to pull draw. Made a nice shot. 20 yards away. Went about 75 yards. Here he is. Nice little Illinois buck. Two. Look at this trail. If the fence is low down, they come through here, they jump this fence, and then they go that way. Now, you would look at that, understand the wind, and guess what? You just might see a deer. But what if they came that way and went that way? As long as you got the wind in your favor, you just might be good. Well, I know I would. Well, gosh, I'm so happy that you helped me out with these deer hunting tips. Sure, anytime, honey. You want me to write a book for you? or? Yeah, Ralph's Deer Hunting 101. What, what's that computer book you got me? Computer yeah. book for dummies? Computers deer, for deer dummies? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, folks, we hope you enjoyed this show. And we want to let you know, I mean, we cannot emphasize enough that please get the children out there hunting. Get, get, any, get them in the outdoors. I mean, get them outdoors. Get them out in the woods. Get them to enjoy it. You know, there's so many different, different ways that they could be out there. And the bottom line is just taking the time and getting them there. Because once you get them there, you got a sportsman and a woman for the rest of our lives. Remember, we want you to come back here next week, same time. Same channel. Right here on, on the, the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice. I appreciate all those tips, by the way, really.